Well, hello, day three. We've made it. We've done two days, two full days. Now, today is Wednesday. I think today's probably going to be a quick vlog because I'm at work today. Um, I then have an appointment for my back and shoulder. I mentioned before I've had a problem with my shoulder. It's a lot better now. So I'm thinking I'm going to probably be discharged from having it seen too today. Fingers crossed. Um, and then it is my brother's 40th birthday today. So um, him and my um, sister-in-law are coming over tonight as well as my mum and stepdad. And we're getting a pizza oven now and we're going to make pizzas and just have a really lovely evening. So how much of that I managed to record, I do not know. So forgive me if it's like a five minute vlog today. Although I say that all the time and then I start blabbering don't I, in the morning and I'm five minutes in before I've even left to go to work. So... Um, Ollie is up, Steve's gone to work, Jack is in bed. So there we go. I'm just waiting for my uh, mum and stepdad to turn up because they're looking after the kids today. And then I'm off, off to work and it's going to be quite a heavy day today at work. So yeah, just one of them things. Today I am wearing a new make. It's another dress that I haven't talked about yet. So a while ago I did um, a vlog <clears throat> about four weeks ago maybe five weeks ago, about six dresses that I wanted to make for work. And I've made four of them. Don't know if I'm going to make the other two yet because I've kind of started drifting onto other plans. But this is the Jennifer Lauren Quincy dress. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to talk too much about it because I'm going to do a makes vlog on it. But it's basically a little v-neck with buttons down the front and then it's just got a shortish skirt. So it only goes to kind of my knee with a drawstring in the middle. Uh, and this is the first time I'm wearing it. So I'm giving it its first rodeo. Um, and I've made it in this lovely viscose fabric that we got from a Beyond the Pink Door Think Pink subscription box. Um, and I've got my Nan's necklace on today. She left that for me. So I've got that on today as well with little heart earrings. So this morning, I think we need to have a look at some fabric, don't we? What do you think? <laughs> because Rachel, um, the lovely Rachel, brought a couple of de fabrics over for me that I'd asked for um, when they came over at the weekend. So do you want to see number one? I mean, come on. Of course I was going to have this one. Hello. You see, the thing is as well, when you're friends with her, you get first dibs. <laughs> I know, but it's just the way it goes. So it's this really lovely cotton. Um, I think it's like a cotton lawn. Really nice quality, not too thin. On this really pale pink background with these massive... I think they're supposed to be poppies, aren't they? Because they've got the black bit in the middle. But I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure how much there is. Probably two metres. Um, the problem that I've got now, and I don't know if you feel the same, is when you've made a particular garment and you love it that's kind of all you can see for a while or for forever forever so for me it's kind of like salt water slip zeta jumpsuit lyra dress and now it's flirt top by fabric or mother so that's all i see so i have to try and get past get past that but yes so i've got this to pop in my stash which i just think is absolutely beautiful i have no idea what i'm gonna make with that yet um, I like the fact it's got a bit of structure, so I need to think of the right pattern because there's no point making a flare in this because I've already got a red one. This is what I'm saying to myself in my head. And then the other thing she brought me was this gorgeous viscose. I think there's three metres maybe of this one. I know, it's gorgeous, isn't it? So it's cobalt blue, which is one of my favourite colours ever, and it's animal print. This is very similar to the fabric that I've just made my lot of dress out of, which I think I wore on day one. Um, and I just love that. And this feels the same quality as well. Um, and I really like wearing that. I like the colour, I like the boldness of it and everything. So I've got three metres of this. So I think this will actually become a Zadie jumpsuit. <laughs> I can just get it out of three metres. So that's kind of where I'm at with this one at the moment, because I just think that would be absolutely stunning. And then another thing I want to show you is I got gifted some labels. Um, I've mentioned the Cozy Club Handmade before. Um, I've had labels from her before. She's based in Malta. Um, and she just messaged me and said, do you want um, a little selection of my newest labels? I said, that would be lovely. So I got a really lovely little card. So that's the Cozy Club Handmade. And inside was, and this is one of my favourite labels, I think. And it just says emergency button. 
as cute as a button. So you can actually put an extra button on there and pop it into your garment so that if you ever lose a button, you've got another one, which is what happens, isn't it, in ready to wear. So I thought that was a really clever idea. And what I like about her labels is the flappy ones, I call them flappy ones. <clears throat> They're always um, double sided as well. So look at this one. It's absolutely beautiful. Sorry, you can't really see it very well. But it's like navy with gold sparkles. And it says limited edition, just like me. And then on the back, it says made with love and a sprinkle of magic. They're beautiful. So you can decide which way around you want them to go. Love this one. Love how bright this one. Wear, wear me with pride. How cool is that? And then all the little coloured hearts on the back. Handmade with pride. You look blooming lovely. <laughs> Ace with these little tulips. Good things take time, don't we know? And then this one, which is super cute. It's like a little gingham one. And it says, you look pretty. Nice. And that's like a little bit of a biscuit thing. You know, nice biscuits, which um, giggle, made me giggle. And then lovingly handmade, which looks a little bit like a jammy dodger. And then you've got this one, which says, be beautifully handmade. With those little bees on. And then on the back, it says, you are the bee's knees. There's quite a few of them. And then you've got another gingham one that's with strawberry. Look at him. Hello, Summer. And then he's got his shades on on back. Made for sunny days. And then there's also three of the, like, patch labels. So I call those, like, flappy things. <laughs> and these are, like, the almost patch ones. And again, this beautiful navy look with the gold. And it just says limited edition, just like me. You've got a beautifully hand, beautifully handmade one. And I love this one. I've got my positive pants on. So it depends how you want to put them into your garments as well. Now, um, the lovely thing about this is that Rachel also has like little gift boxes you can do. I thought that'd be a really nice present for somebody who sews. And I think you can also do like pick and mix, all sorts of different stuff. So I'll pop her um information in the description box below and you can go and have a, a little sneaky peek and considering these came from malta they came in like a few days so really fast delivery as well so i thought i would give her a little shout out because i do think the quality of her labels are absolutely fabulous so yeah so you can see here it's come all the way from malta right i'm going to go downstairs make myself some breakfast and i haven't bought any lunch i haven't made any lunch which was a bit lazy of me but it was a bit manic last night so i'll be buying my lunch out today if I had that up, I'd probably spend about 40 quid a month on buying lunches out when I should just make my own. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So, yeah, I'm off to work. Then I'm going to have my shoulder done. And then we've got um, a little bit of a little family gathering. So I'll just catch up with you when I can kind of thing. All right. See you later. Right. I'm in the car. I've finished work. It was an intense day. <laughs> A very intense day at work, but I'm very lucky because my team are awesome and we've also laughed a lot as well. So I've just worked straight through. Um, we ate lunch on the go type of thing. And now I have come to a place that's not very far from me, but um, it's like a chiropractor. Um, I've mentioned before, obviously, that I've had a really bad shoulder and then I've had a really bad neck as well. But um, it's a lot better. So I'm going to go and probably get punished for the last time, hopefully. And let's hope we can get signed off today. So I'll give you an update afterwards. Right, I'm out. I've been beasted. Did a bit of work on my neck. But overall, he was incredibly pleased with my progress. And I've been signed off. So I'm suited. Because <laughs> it costs a fortune. <laughs> More than anything. But also the fact that I just don't have any pain anymore. And my posture's a lot better. I've got lots of things to work on. I've been doing loads of exercises. So, yeah. Is it like... The thing is, you get older, everybody's so much younger. Like, everybody I deal with. The finance guy that I dealt with last night must have been in his 20s. The guy I see here, the physiotherapist, is, like, in his 20s. It makes me feel really old. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going home now. Um, I'm not going back to work because I've only got about another half hour anyway until I finish, so it's not worth it. I'm going to go home and prep everything for my brother coming over for his birthday little shindig. So I'll check in with you when I can. Sorry, the light is shocking. I've just put my serious reader's light on me and nearly blinded myself. Hello. <laughs> Turn that back off. 
so it's really dark because um i'm sorry but i just didn't really get much footage of anything we were just having a really lovely time so we made pizzas in our little pizza oven outside and we just generally had a lovely time i've not had any chocolate cake yet but i'm saving that because it is just gone half past eight now um husband's putting kiss to bed because he knows it's so in be final night whoop, whoop, so i can't wait so that's on at nine o'clock so i'm gonna have a piece of chocolate cake and a cup of tea while i'm watching that i can't wait so yeah we've had a really lovely time um and I just thought I'd quickly pop on and have a chat with you because I'm like, I'm that Freya's staring at me and I'm like, have I got time to just quickly whip up that? See, I think I have, Anna. I'm just going to do it. Let's do it. So I did that and you'll probably see I was really careful. I was kind of like lifting my fabric, making sure there was nothing tucked under and then I've um, overlocked it. But then when I was overlocking it, I noticed that I have actually caught a few bits in when I was um, attaching the bodice. So you might be able to kind of see here. Can you see there? Look, I've caught a little bit in no matter how careful I was. I caught a bit in. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to have to unpick that because I just can't cope with it. <laughs> in fact, there's two little bits in a row that I've caught in. So I'm just going to unpick those, let them out, um, and then sew that back up. But I'm struggling for time now anyway. So I might just leave that as is. Um, and I might unpick it just while I'm watching the bee. And then just sew it up in the morning, maybe. So, yeah, and then I'll maybe try it on. See what it looks like. I've left the cords on my overlocker thread because i'm going to put those back through and then i think it does tell you to kind of stitch these down um the peplum um seam allowance down so that you don't see that kind of like you see flapping about flopping about technical term um so i'm going to thread those through but yeah i think what i'll do is i'll maybe unpick these in front of the tv while i'm watching sewing me for now um, and then in the morning, I'll try it on and let you see. So uh, just so that you know, as well, in case MBS, I'm wearing the Florence top by Merchant and Mills um, in this really beautiful fabric. I did this as a um, guest blogger, vlogger for Felicity Fabrics. And it's really cute because down the back as well, it's got buttons. Um, and yeah, it's really good for pizza and cake. <laughs> because it hides the old belly look <laughs> but yeah i love this and this is a beautiful um viscose fabric as well um that was that i could choose basically for my guest vlog so i know that hasn't been the most exciting of days and there's hardly been any sewing but you know that's what happens when you're doing a daily vlog isn't it tomorrow is thursday so i've got a full day at work again tomorrow um my eldest is going to rugby training tomorrow night and that's it so i will get time hopefully to finish this and maybe start to cut out my mum's bag maybe we'll see anyway but for now i'm going to sign off i hope you're all well and i'll see you again tomorrow take care bye <laughs>